good morning. How are you? Well, good morning. I did that wrong. Today is Wednesday, February 6th. And we did have our ice storm last night. But it's 34 degrees right now. And my daughter-in-law needs to borrow my car. Because her car is not acting correctly. And she's got to bring it in to get fixed. And she wants to... Oh, I didn't realize it was this icy. Oh, well. Um, and she has to bring her dog to the vet. Because he's got an ear infection. And... Uh, it's not too bad, I guess. I don't like lending my car to somebody when the weather is bad. <laughs> but the main roads will be salted, so that'll be fine. But, um, so anyway, she's going to borrow my car. And so Jim's going to follow me. He's slow. He's still getting ready. So I figure I'm going to drive slower than he's going to drive. So he's just going to meet me there. And then we're going to go drop our taxes off to see how it works. I'm hoping to get a refund, but I don't know. I know they changed the tax tab booklets or whatever, and so you can't itemize as much and claim as much and all that good stuff. So I'm just curious to see. So anyway, I gotta get it in anyhow. Might as well get it in now before the government shuts down again. <laughs> so, um, but we have a birthday today. Today's Marlene Zitzer's birthday. So Marlene gets a song. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Marlene, happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Uh, it's also my friend Jeff's birthday, and I just sent him a bunch of memes, because uh, he doesn't watch my videos. I did make him subscribe to my channel, but he doesn't watch, so. Oh yeah, this is much better. My street was just bad. Um... And whatever. Let's see. I'm going to have oatmeal for breakfast. I think I'm going to have a bowl of oatmeal. And I'm going to have a multi-green English muffin with some strawberry jam. So that's going to put me like right around ooh, six, six, three, six, three, about 11 points. But I'm only planning on having a salad and uh, some cottage cheese for uh, dinner. So I should be fine point-wise. I'm obviously going to count my calories. I'm just going to do that for a week. I want to just really see if like 1,800 calories. What the sad thing is, is I still think I'm eating a lot of food. And uh, if I lose a pound following 1,800 calories, then I'm just going to think, oh my gosh, how much, how much was I really eating before when I wasn't losing? I probably should turn my lights on since everybody else has their lights on. I'll follow the crowd like the sheep going along. But uh, other than that, I have no plans. I almost had the boys today, Sebastian and Oliver, because obviously there's no school. And uh, Shannon's sister's having her baby today. So Marlene, you're going to be sharing your birthday with a new member of, well, I consider it still part of my family. It's Shannon's sister. But uh, they're going to induce, and then they're, they tried to induce, I guess that's what it was this morning, and then they called and said that she might have a C-section and uh, for her just to come this afternoon. So she's just going to wait till Danny gets home from work, and then they're going to all go together. Or they're going to have Danny stay with the boys, one of the two. But uh, I don't know if they let the little kids come into the hospitals now. I know the brothers and sisters can go in, but... I remember back in the day when you went to the hospital, they had set visiting hours, maybe like one to three in the afternoon and like six to eight at night. And then you had to stop at the thing and get a pass and they put the pass sticker on you. And then you would go up to the room and you only could have two at a time. So when you got up to the room, then the other one would sneak back down and turn the pass back in or say that, or say that they turned the pass back in and hand it off to someone else and so there was more than two in a room and, so, and I remember when Jim was in the hospital he smoked in his room they had ashtrays and everything it's just oh it's just really strange to think of the things we did in the past he could smoke on an airplane and I was like the non-smoking section in the uh restaurant you'd be sitting here but on that side of the booth it would be non-smoking so you'd be smoking here but they're sitting over there and it's not it's non 
it was just kind of silly. But, um, I don't know, I'm just kind of, just kind of like in a mood today. I don't know what. I just, I feel like I should chit-chat with you, but I haven't got anything to chit-chat about. I was trying to think of something. I slept really well. I heard the, the ice rain, you know, hitting my pool cover, because my pool is right outside my bedroom window, so I heard that. Uh, other than that, not much going on. I um, just want to stay on track. I, I just want to get back to losing weight. I just want to get back to my old pattern of losing weight every week. When I first started, um, I lost for like the first, I think it was nine weeks in a row, something like that, nine or ten weeks in a row I was doing really well. I really, I lost a good majority of my weight the first year on Weight Watchers. And that was uh, with the Smart Points. Uh, I think so part of the year I think was Points Plus when I joined and then they switched to Smart Points. And I did lose, I lost really well. And I think I got, at the time, I think I got 32 points, but then you had to measure everything and uh, count points for just about everything. There wasn't free foods. And so I think I've probably lost, well, I lost a lot. I think I probably lost 60 pounds that first year. And then uh, when the freestyle came, I, you know, I like freestyle, don't get me wrong, I do like freestyle, but it's a... Uh, to me, it seems like it was more, for me, for the year 2018, I was maintaining. I think for the whole year of 2018, with all my ups and downs and gains and losses and all of that good stuff, I ended up with a total loss of, uh, I think it was eight pounds, eight and a half pounds for the whole year, which I'm not complaining. This is, I lost. I really, I did lose, but I lost more with the other plan. So, I think that... Well, I don't think. I know. I know I kind of took advantage of the freestyle program, and I was like a little, you know, like I had a bigger piece of chicken, if I'm going to be honest with you. If I weighed out my chicken, I might have cut the chicken breast in half and ate half one day, and then the next day ate the other half on a salad. But uh, with the freestyle, I thought, you know what, it's, it's zero points. I can eat the whole thing now. And so I would eat the whole chicken breast and not save any for the next day. And it's still calories. But, uh, you know, like, you know, I see people eating so many eggs in that, and I just, you know, it's a funny thing. I'll eat one hard-boiled egg, and it'll fill me up, but I could never just scramble one egg. I have to scramble at least two eggs. And then when you have an omelet, there's always three eggs. Although, a lot of times when I go to a restaurant, I just ask them to give me a two-egg omelet because I, that's a lot of eggs. I don't know how people can eat that many eggs. I really... I mean, I like eggs, but it seems like, and then you have all the all the other fillings in it too. So, you know, this is nice. This is really icy. And I like this little puddle that they have. You know, drive through it. Um, not that you needed to know that, but I like to share everything. So, but anyway, we are now at uh, Cindy's abode. I'll leave the car, wait till Jim gets here, and then uh, be on my way for the rest of my day. So, let me just pull in here and park. Oh, I'm going to steal David's spot. He's not here, so I'm going to steal his spot. You'll just have to park somewhere else. That's just the way it goes. Oh, and we have arrived. Okay, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, we're going to have breakfast. So I started my day with a prayer. I drank 50 ounces of water. My quote is, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. And that's by Albert Einstein. Um, it's an 11-point breakfast. I'm only going to eat two meals today. Uh, four points for a half a cup of oatmeal. One point for a quarter cup of 2% milk. Three points for my multigrain English muffin. Three points for a tablespoon of strawberry preserves. And zero for my egg, banana, tea, and water. So I still have 12 points left for my dinner. Second meal of the day, I'm going to have a salad with some ham and cheese and green pep or red peppers and green peppers and cucumbers and salad and onions. So it's 
11 point meal, I had 12 points to use, three points for half a cup of cottage cheese, zero for my salad, my cucumber, my peppers, the onion, the tomatoes, and the tea, five points for two tablespoons of dressing, one point for two ounces of ham, and two points for 19 grams of provolone cheese. So it comes to 11 points. I have one point left, but I think I'm gonna roll it over. Sorry, I had an itchy nose. I um, finished the day with 1,275 calories, which is way, way under. I um, I don't know. I, I don't. I must be doing something wrong because I was exactly just one point under for my 23 points, but so many less calories. So I don't know what I, I'm going from the app on the Weight Watcher. I'm skimming to the bottom and seeing what I'm tracking and counting the calories from that. So. Um, I'm obviously doing something wrong, but we'll see. We'll see on uh, Saturday if I have at least my one pound losses, which they're telling me that I should have, because I've been following it faithfully this week. I'm only going to do it for this week, because I'll be honest with you, it's monotonous. I just wanted to kind of get a general idea of um, what I'm eating in that. I know a lot of you are concerned about my fruit. <laughs> I eat a lot of fruit. I should probably ex extend it out through the day. Um, when I first started um, Weight Watchers back in 2016, I only ate two meals a day. I had a very heavy fruit-laden dinner, or breakfast rather, and then I had just a second meal of the day. And I lost a lot of weight that first year. And the sugar really doesn't affect. I just went last week, and all my blood work comes back perfectly normal. I'm all within my normal ranges. Um, Excuse me, my sh I had onions on my salad, so I'm burping them up now. Um, my sugar levels were like right within the normal range. I mean, they weren't too high and they weren't too low. And I, I guess this, I, uh, I kind of look forward to having the fruit in the morning for my breakfast. It kind of satisfies my um, cravings for sugar. I, um, I haven't touched the donuts. That's a good thought. Jim bought some uh, cookie, homemade cookies, like you make the cookie dough. You buy them and you slice it up. I haven't had those cookies. So um, the fruit take is still sugar. I know it's sugar. And I, I hear you about the banana, but I, I have to have a banana every day. And I know it's got a lot of sugar in it, and I know that. But um, I have a banana every day, and, and I've, I always do. So I'm not giving up my bananas. I refuse to give up my bananas. And uh, so I just, um, I, I'm going to do what I know works for me. And, and, I, and I take it with not, not any criticism on your part or anything like that. I understand when you offer me suggestions and you make comments about my food choices and stuff like that. You're doing it out of love for me, or not maybe love for me, but concern, that'd be a better word. Concern for me. And I really appreciate it. And please don't ever stop because... I, I'm always open to suggestions. I always am. And I take no offense. And uh, I'm very fortunate that I've gotten um, some very nice comments. And people, they're kind of apologetic sometimes when they offer me something. Please don't ever feel apologetic. And please don't ever apologize for a long comment. I have no problems with that. I like reading it. I, I'm an avid reader. So I love reading. So that doesn't bother me either. Um, I know a lot of times my responses are short, but I get, I get so many comments that, um, and I'm a, a like a hunt and peck typer, <laughs> so I'm not like you know like when you can type like that and you can and you can get all that done. I'm not like that. I'm like, you know, like this typing along. So um, I read all of your comments completely, completely or all the way through. And I try to summarize and be as brief as I can be, not because I'm trying to ignore you. It's just um, the one day I had like 95 comments. That's, uh, you know, I like to answer my comments. I don't care how many I get. I like to answer them. So a lot of times they're not very long response. Please don't think I'm trying to slight you in any way because I'm not. I just want to make sure that I answer your comments and I want to acknowledge that I've read your comments because I so appreciate when you leave me a comment. It's, and I like to see the interaction between people talking to other people with their comments too because that's what I love about my channel is because we're like a whole big community. We're all looking out for each other and I really like that. So, okay, that's about it for tonight. I'm going to um, get my pajamas on. I tell you that every night. 
but I my pajamas on and watch some TV. Jim's shooting on his archery league tonight, so um, when he gets home, we'll start watching some of the stuff we've taped and get on from there. So give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you guys in the morning.